as you open your application put the amount put the description and select the um the category and that's all one two three that's all and imagine at the end of the month you can tell exactly where your money has gone to how you have spent it what you are going to be spending it on next time how to plan it and all of those things so it makes it so easy so easy back again with another tutorial if this is the first time you're seeing my face my name is Suliet and I'm the cake consultant at Cake Mania Cakes and I welcome you to my channel if you're an OG thank you so much for coming back please do not forget to subscribe like and share have you ever been asked why is it that you're always in financial issues you're never able to take care of your financial um, responsibilities you're always boring before the month ends your spouse is always asking you why is it that you can't even take care of, a, of your responsibilities if you're always in this kind of issues today i am going to be sharing tips on how to prevent financial issues in the family or as an individual and also i'll be sharing with you the best and the freest <laughs> a free app that i use to organize my financial life that is very very good and disclaimer first <laughs> i am not a financial advisor i have only created this video for general information purpose and the information contained in this video is solely based on my own personal experience and so you should please do your independent research to know what's best for your situation bonify is a free application it has the pro version but personally i don't use the pro version just for what you're going to do planning for your family you really might not need the pro version i will advise that you just start with the free version and see if there's need for you to you know progress to the pro version then you can go ahead in fact it helps with things as little as um what internet plan should i be on Sometimes you think that you are saving money by going for a lesser plan. Meanwhile, it's penny wise pound foolish. You probably have been buying that smaller plan for a while and you won't even realize that you spent what you would have taken for instance. Sometimes you want to buy insurance um internet plan and you're buying the one for say a thousand and before few days you finished that and you have to buy another one and you have to buy another one at the end of the month if you have not really been able to put together how much you spent on that internet plan you won't realize that if you have bought internet plan of just five thousand right, that will give you the double double the data that you would have used that you that you eventually used you eventually spent one 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 in ten places instead of just buying five at a go and that would have been enough for you so knowing what you spend your money on basically and how to spend it in future is going to really help your financial life the modify app all you need to do is to go to your app store on your apple ios and or if you're using android just go to your play store and type in modify to search Put your information, your password, and let it fill in. See how easy that is? As you can see, the pick the application is looks so simple, you won't even think it's an um, accounting app. From there, I'm gonna click on the three dots at the top, which takes us to the category categories that we have available so as you can see they try as much as possible to cover up cover most of the things that an average person or an average family is going to be dealing with like how much you're spending on food bills car clothes communication eating out entertainment gifts your health everything sports transportation everything that you can think of that you can deal with every month and if you want to have a different um representation that is different from what you have here you can always click on the plus sign above 
the expense there and add that category as well under under that you have income and you have options of deposit salary and savings if you click on the plus sign as well if you have any other form of sort of or form of income that you'd like to be represented all you have to do is add it there on this page here which is the two arrows takes you to adding um the kind of accounts that you'd like to represent when you are doing when you are adding your transaction basically we are still just getting familiarized with our application here we are not this is not what you do on a daily basis this is just what you do when you just um install the application so here now you can see that if you want to do a transfer say you moved money from your account you moved money from your account to um your card or from your uh, or you, you paying cash in hand into your account you can always do that transfer and then represent it here the left hand side sign over there takes us to the account setting as well here you can decide on the you can see the drop down is cash pay, cash or payment card and you can always add bank to it as well we will get to that part so here you want to decide on what um the account that you want to deal with month is it monthly is it weekly yearly or you can just choose a date as to what you want to view at a go the three dots here here we are going to deal with the account all what we are doing now is just still getting to know our, our, our application you really don't need to go into details as to all of this first so here we're going to input how much we have in hand we are still going to change the the, the currency if you are spending dollar of course you leave it at dollars save as you can see it's already spooled out the hundred thousand era here so since we have that here already anything we want to spend now is easy we know we have hundred thousand era cash in hand right we are rich we'll be adding another income which is uh the hundred and fifty thousand era that's assuming that's salary that goes into the uh, card so that's there before we start to input our um, debit, let's go and change our currency first from the settings. So in the settings there, you can decide on whatever currency you want to use. The default setting is US dollars, but we are going to be changing it to Naira to make it easier to relate to it. So you change it to the select Naira and then voila, that's it. You have 250,000 Naira now to spend. I'll do as you wish <laughs> with to the end of the month so that we can move on to um, imputing the uh, transactions assuming we have transactions for t for the day first we can have something like take for instance 15,000 naira for month uh, monthly salary for the house cleaner so you have the house cleaner there you put your 15,000 naira Put the house cleaner in the description and then you pick the best category for it which let's say is, um, it's house expense right so we can just put, put it on house so because it's a recurring um it's going to be a recurring expense you click on the recurring sign on top so that every month you don't need to crack your brain and try to remember what are those things that you need to do that has, you know um, confirm the expenses for every month it just sort of spools itself every month and then all you have to do is just do the actual payment for it another example we can do is transportation you can input anything there's no limit to how much amount you can put 15 naira you can put 100 naira 200 naira no matter how much you spend just input like this it can take as many as possible everything you every transaction you need to so from there, you can see that when after putting your transaction in, you can see that even without going to the bar chart or whatever, from the dashboard, you can see the expenses already chatting itself till the month end. So over time, you can tell what takes up the majority of your spending on a monthly basis. And that way you can make the, the, the right decision as to how to guard your savings or how to direct your savings to know what should really be taking up your savings. I mean, what should really be taking up your income and what is actually doing, what is actually taking it up. So you can plan appropriately.
the date is already going to, going to be automated like it comes it generates itself every every day it changes so you don't even need to stress yourself over that and then for things as small as even bank charges it's important that you even put that in because you want to know how much the banks have been charging you you want to know how much of your money has been going to the bank those people can cheat so it's better you open your eyes wide and know this is the amount that the bank has charged me so far put it in every transaction you do that involves the bank put in the amount so you are sure there's no cheating it doesn't even take 30 seconds to do that and you can do that as many times as possible you can do it in batch if you are sure that you're going to remember everything but what's important is for you to make sure you input every single transaction that you incur in a day because that's the only way you can have a true representation of what you have spent and that would guide you as to how to um, plan your budget for future expenses that way you will be sure at the end of the month you are sure of exactly where your money has gone this is how much i've spent on food this is how much i've spent on insurance this is how much i've spent on fuel so basically that's all there is as to how to use the application it is simple all you have to do is download the app put in the necessary information that would guide you on a monthly basis and then every day all you have to do is as you're doing any transaction whether be it you're collecting money or you're paying money you are just going to press three things only three things <laughs> amount input um description and the, the category that's all and it does all the addition and subtraction for you automatically at the end of the month you can tell how much have i spent on this how much have i spent on that how much am I expected to spend on anything again in future? You can make a proper plan. Is that not sweet? Is that not like sugar, sugar, honey, honey, sweet? If I were you, I would just download this app and save myself some hassle and save myself spending in the wrong way or anything. You can use this application for your budgeting. So it doesn't necessarily have to be you um, using it to do your balancing like knowing how much you've spent you can actually use it to plan your spending so if you're using it for the budget on that certain side all you have to do is to select the budget mode once you select the budget mode it puts you in a budget mode such that you it would you would fix how much you want to spend because you already have a data to rely on on uh, as to how much you're earning how much you're supposed to spend on each thing it makes it easy for you so you just put the budget mode on and then you can easily decide that okay you are paying you are spending this amount on this that amount on that as you're spending on a daily basis the budget is reminding you or the app is reminding you that you are getting close to the end of how much you budgeted for something so spend wisely you are constantly reminded that you need to watch what you're spending so it puts you in check basically is that not sweet so Please hurry up and go and download. <laughs> go and download sharply. So this is it. This is the end. This is all I said. I should come and inform you guys. I hope it makes a difference. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's worth your time. If it is worth your time, please let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate because if you have watched these moments and you have not subscribed. I will not say anything, but thank you still for watching. But I will really appreciate if you can just subscribe. Be nice. Again, I'm saying be nice. <laughs> it doesn't cost the time to be nice. Subscribe, and I would appreciate if you can help me share this video as well. Thank you so very much. And peace out. <laughs>